Johannesburg woman says she's worried that not enough is being done to deal with a deadly bacteria that left nine infants dead at Rahima Musa Mother and Child Hospital. Cindy Caffin suspects her son, who was born prematurely, may have contracted the bacteria back in September. She says doctors at the hospital told her that he had an infection. Now, last week, the Human Rights Commission visited the hospital. Uh, it described the infant's death as a violation of the right to proper health care. ENCA's Malungelo Boy has the story. The wall on Cindy Cathan's home is filled with images of her late son. His ashes are still in the house and will be scattered next year. She's holding on to every memory of what would have been her first-born child. The 27-year-old says she was due to give birth in December, but went into labor on the 2nd of September instead. He was born at 25 weeks, which is like five months. So he weighed 1.11 kgs. He was fine. He was in our ICU for about three, four days, and then they moved him to neonate or whichever maternity ward that was. From there, he had a downfall. They said that he had infection. Nobody could actually tell me what it was. Nine infants died of bacteria infection in this hospital, which mostly occurred in premature newborns. He had like hiccups, but the thing is, I'm not a doctor, so I can't say if that, but you could see he had like trouble breathing. And then he also had a pipe in his mouth for feeding. Last week, human rights officials who visited the facility described the infant's death as a violation of their right to access to health care. I would like an investigation to basically be taken place to investigate if there's any further more deaths and to help try and get this infection sorted because if it hasn't been clean and basically cornered off that infection might still be there. The health department says experts are looking into the outbreak during the period of March and August this year and officials would also be in contact with Kathan. The department says major steps have been taken to prevent further outbreaks. Malungi Lupui, Johannesburg. Now, Nehau says it will be putting pressure on government to push for a higher budget for public health care. The union will hold a two-day seminar from tomorrow to highlight the plight of nurses. The seminar is being held under the theme, Accelerate Transformation of Nurses' Fraternity to Advance Primary Health Care. Now, Health Minister Aaron Motoleri is expected to attend. Treasurer must stop being uh, uh, Eurocentric, must understand this is South Africa, and there must be enough money to give them to the Department of Health so that the Department of Health can be able to run. In fact, if you go to Department Pumalanga, Department of Health, last year they got 13.7 billion. In litigation alone, mm. they have spent 7 billion, 7.5 billion. Is almost more than 50 percent of the mandate they get and the reason why that is the case it is because the issues that get committed in the process of taking care causes the problem the most you must have read newspapers recently there's a hospital in, here in Johannesburg that admit that nine babies have yeah. died because they have compromised the protocol of health Protocol first mm. requires you to make sure that you don't allow communic communic communicable diseases mm. to affect others.